In this video, we are going to discuss how to name acids. We're going to cover the naming of hydrohalic acids and oxoacids. For acids, we'll have several types. Hydrohalics, oxoacids, and carboxylic acids. We're going to cover hydrohalics and oxoacids in this class. You'll talk a bit about carboxylic acids in later sections, especially in 1C, though, no, though the nomenclature doesn't typically get covered until organic chemistry. Let's start with the hydrohalics because they're the easiest. There are only four species in this group and are made of hydrogen and a halide banded together. For all of these, we start with hydro, then we name the ion, and then we end it with an IC ending, and finally finish it off with the word acid. So this becomes hydrofluoric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, and hydroiodic acid. This is pretty much all there is to say about the hydrohalics. So now let's move on to the oxoacids. Oxoacids come from the appropriate number of hydrogens bonded to one of the polyatomic ions that we discussed in the previous videos. These have a common structure of the central element's base with a change in the ending of either OUS or IC. Which ending you add onto it depends on the form of the ion. If the polyatomic ion has an ATE ending, then the ending of the acid is the IC ending. If the anion has an ITE ending, then when it is turned into an acid, it has an OUS ending. Finally, we add the word acid to the end of it. Try each of these before moving on, or maybe watch the first one and then try the rest. For the first one, we have the polyatomic ion sulfate. Since it has an ATE ending, it becomes the IC ending when we do the acid. So this becomes sulfuric acid. For the next one, we have phosphite. Since it, the polyatomic ion has the ITE ending, the acid will have the OUS ending. And this gives us phosphorus acid. For the next one, we have CO3, which is carbonate. Since it has an ATE ending, the acid will have an IC ending, and it becomes carbonic acid. For the last one, we have nitrite, or an IT ending, and so we call that nitrous acid. And for acids, this is all we'll cover today. Carboxylic acids will be covered at a later time. 